will speak for me this day. I, Yeshua HaMashiach, speak through my child this day. Hear me. Hear me, my people. A storm is coming upon the land. Many nations are going into war. The governments are lying to you, the people. My children, the watchmen on the wall need to sound the alarm, sound the shafar. War is coming. War is coming. Hear the shofar blow. War is coming, my people. They are not being truthful with you. Watchmen, speak my truth. Warn the people. War is coming. Tell them. Tell them. When I traveled to Crimea, I expected to find what I saw on TV back home. Images of the mighty Russian military storming into Ukraine. Amid holes of protests of politicians claiming an invasion was taking place right in front of our eyes. Russian military forces are crossing the border into neighboring Ukraine. Russia is on the move invading. They say Russian military helicopters and planes are entering Ukraine. The U.S. intelligence community and NATO are urgently trying to figure out what the Russians may do next. I confess I did see one Russian tank with my own eyes. But this battle machine has been here since the 1940s and not going anywhere ever since. So I sought out the people who admit they are not soldiers, even though they wear uniforms and they are armed. Concerned residents and a rusty relic of a tank. But as I saw, no march from Moscow. But there are soldiers in Russian colors on Crimea, there in Sevastopol. My colleague Ryan O'Neill is there. Yes, that's correct. There is a military presence in Sevastopol, but it has been here for ages. And that's because this is the home of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, which has been legally based here for years. So in terms of a Russian presence, uh, the people here are saying that in recent weeks, nothing has really changed. I'm studying right here in Sevastopol for four years. And, uh, uh, you know, this city always uh, was uh, like military city. You know, I think that um, Nothing changed. What has changed, however, is the formation and presence of these self-defense groups that have set up checkpoints and uh, pledged allegiance to the regional Crimean authorities. But these are not Russian troops. Authorities may not be coping in a situation like this. That is the reason our self-defense squads exist. We are just people who feel it's our duty to protect our native city. I'm from Sevastopol myself, spend my whole life here. We maintain public order, look out for any provocations and make sure nobody attacks journalists and the rest of the people. Uh, and they insist that the, the only Russian military personnel are those on the permitted bases maintaining the Black Sea Fleet. So who are they? Um, volunteers mostly. People must know that they are safe and protected and not by the military, but by regular citizens like themselves. There's also members of the Ukrainian military that switched sides after the government coup in Kiev. There's also uh, mem former members of the Berkut police force that was involved in the violent scenes that we saw coming from the uh, Maidan protest in Kiev. And they say they're now protecting this region from a threat of the far right in the capital. So also developing tonight, the U.S. is beefing up our military presence in mainland Europe. We have learned that the U.S. is sending in more fighter jets like these at the request of our allies tonight. Earlier, our own Shepard Smith traveled into the disputed territory, into the heart of this international crisis, and he joins us now live from Ukraine, from Kiev, Ukraine.
Martha, we wanted to know what it's like in that particular area, so we took about a 400-mile uh, flight from here in Kiev down to Simferopol, uh, which is in the heart of Crimea. And when we landed at the airport, there had been troops there in recent days, uh, Russian troops, but we saw none of that. Some local security forces with Russian flags went into some squares around, some transportation hubs, no Russian troops, and so many... Poland's defense minister has announced that the first of 12 F-16 aircraft from the U.S. and at least 300 service personnel should arrive in Poland on Monday or Tuesday for a training drill. Meanwhile, a U.S. guided missile destroyer, the USS Truxton, passed through the Bosphorus Strait on Friday afternoon on its way to the Black Sea. The training drill involving the F-16 fighter jets will include other airfields besides LASK, where U.S. Air Force detachment is stationed. And the U.S. warships' movements raise fears that the standoff between Russia and Ukraine and the West over Crimea could become more militarized. A Turkish Coast Guard vessel is escorting the U.S. warship during its voyage along the Bosphorus Strait that forms part of the boundary between Europe and Asia. The U.S. Navy said in a statement that the Truxton, with 300 sailors on board, left Greece on Thursday en route to the Black Sea and would conduct training with the Romanian and Bulgarian naval forces. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon.